If you're working with a really tight budget and you want a PC build, in this video I will show you three different options that are actually really solid for 1080p gaming and the number one on this video is also really capable of 440p gaming. So I will show you three different budgets, $350, $500 and then the last one is going to be 700 bucks. So if you have a budget between those numbers, this video is going to be really important for you because even if you're a beginner, I will explain what these systems are capable of running and if you have more money than that then i do recommend you watching my pc build playlist you will have all the components for all of these pc builds down below in the video description that being said let's start with the first one we have a functional pc in the 350 dollar system it's nothing too crazy so please don't expect to run the latest titles ultra settings 1080p but if you want to play games like minecraft Roblox, Valorant, CSGO, those type of easy to run titles, then this system is going to be perfect for you and you actually don't need to spend more money because you will be able to achieve more than 100 FPS on average. For the CPU, we have the Ryzen 3 4100. This is a really budget oriented CPU for 65 bucks. Then for the motherboard, we have the B450M A micro ATX motherboard for $80. Enough gaming features for this PC. For the memory kit, we have 16 gigs of RAM, 2x8. Of DDR4, memory at 3200 MHz CL16 this is the standard for gaming and it's actually quite cheap for the storage I picked the Kingston NB2 250 gigabytes of Gen 4 SSD only going for $22 and then for the graphics card the GTX 970 from the used market from eBay only going for around $50 on average for the case I picked the Rosewheel Prism S500 ATX mid tower case this one already comes with six print cell fans honestly great airflow for a cheap price and then for the power supply we have the bitphoenix formula 600 watt 80 plus bronze power supply this one is ct rated and way more than enough for this type of system so like i said before 1080p easy to run titles this one is more than enough even for a game like gta 5 this one will be able to achieve 60 plus fps on average depending on the graphic settings so for the amount of money that you're paying it's actually a really solid choice one thing that I do recommend you upgrading if you want to upgrade something is going to be the SSD since you only get 256 gigs of SSD and if you're planning on downloading a bunch of games then I recommend you going with 500 gigs or even a terabyte of SSD if your budget allows. Talking about budget, jumping up to $500, we have 500 gigs of SSD instead of 256 gigs. And then for the graphics card, we have the RX 6600 brand new GPU instead of the GTX 970 from the used market. This will make a huge difference when talking about 1080p gaming. You will be able to achieve much higher FPS in every title. And for most titles, you will be able to run at above 60 plus FPS on average, even in games like Red Dead Redemption 2. You also get 8 gigs of VRAM instead of 4 on the graphics card which is huge when it comes to graphic settings so trust me it's really worth it going with this one instead of the last one so if you can extend your budget to 500 dollars if you had around 350 you will get a much better gaming experience everything else remains the same this pc all around is actually a good choice for both the 350 pack option and the 500 dollar one and last but not least, for $712 by the time I'm recording this video, you can actually get this price a bit down if you downgrade the storage, the 1080p high FPS slash 1440p PC build. Because yes, you can actually play at 1440p at this price point. And let me tell you why. For the CPU, we have the Ryzen 5 5600, which is a much, much better option than the Ryzen 3 4100. But of course, it's going to be much more expensive as well. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock B550M PG Rip tight micro ATX motherboard, enough feature for gaming and a really good motherboard at this price point. For the memory kit we have the RGB Silicon Power X Power Kit, this is the same as the other one 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4 3200MHz CL16 memory and it's a bit more expensive but you get the RGB features. For the storage we have the P41 1TB of Gen 4 SSD only going for 50 bucks because you get a terabyte of SSD instead of 500 or 256 you're getting plenty of storage to download a bunch of games. You can even consider 2TB depending on how many games you want to download. 
For the graphics card, we have the RX 6650 XT, and this is, in my opinion, one of the best value GPUs that you can get right now on the market. I wouldn't recommend you going with Nvidia since it's going to be way more expensive if you want the same performance. And honestly, if you have a 1440p monitor or you want to buy a 1440p 144Hz monitor, feel free to do so since it's going to run amazing at 1440p. Of course, not at the highest settings in every single game because it's not the best 1440p GPU out there. But for most titles, 60 plus FPS on average is going to be more than possible. And for esports titles, more than 100 FPS on average will be possible. So a 144Hz monitor is going to be the sweet spot at 1440p. And if you want a 1080p 144 slash 200 40 hertz monitor you're even going to get more fps because of the resolution then for the case i picked the antec nx320 this is a beautiful looking case just going for 55 bucks actually it's almost the same price as the other case so if you like this one better you can put it in all the builds and yes even if you have 350 bucks you can put this case if you like it more which i believe you will because the aesthetics are better you don't have an exhaust fan if you want you can add an extra fan for the back i don't believe it's necessary but for around eight bucks or so you can do that and you will get an extra fan and last but not least the power supply the big phoenix formula 600 watt 80 plus bronze power supply way more than enough once again cc rated so enough for this build to recap the first system is for 1080p low to medium settings and to play esports titles but you can also play games like gta 5 the second pc the 500 dollar system is more of a 1080p all-around system and you can run basically every single game at 1080p 60 plus fps on average and you can achieve way higher fps than the first system and then the last one the 700 dollar pc is the 1080p best pc that you can get on this video and also you can get a 1440p gaming experience that's really decent on top of that, you get more storage and a more upgradable system overall. Now, if you have more money or you're not sure which PC build to buy that fits your needs, or maybe you want a private PC, I highly recommend you clicking the personal PC help link in the video description where you just have to answer a couple of questions and I will help you out with your needs and your budget. And if you're looking for a budget private PC instead, you can watch my video about the best budget private PCs of the month, since I do know that not everyone wants to build their own PC, and I completely understand and respect that. You will have that video in the top right of the screen. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you on the next one.